Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. We're going to be talking about transit and Venus conjunct one's natal Venus. And uh, when you have um, transits that involve Venus, uh, it can be about love, enjoying uh, value, self worth, self esteem, how you feel about yourself, monetary matters. And when you have this transit, uh, that involves uh, Venus conjoining your natal Venus. You could say it's a, a Venus return, basically. Um, love, uh, things that you love, um, enjoy, value, uh, your self-worth might be tied in to your relationships. If it's uh, Scorpio, for example, they piece could be very deep and provocative relationships, ones that certainly um, average may not be superficial. And also, the enjoyment can very strongly be expressed with beauty and your self-worth and self-esteem, how you feel about yourself, may be tied into beauty. It could be, whether it may be in your uh, your home, if this is in zodiac sign cancer or in the fourth house in your natal chart, uh, it could be about how your home is, uh, as far as its attractiveness. Uh, it could be also valuing art more so than usual, uh, adorning beautiful art, having the enjoyment of it. Um, I mean, if it's an Aquarius, it could be art that's very, uh, very unique to say the absolute least. So Pisces might be something like abstract art, something with fantasy or fiction. And also, this is about valuing, uh, this transit could manifest in valuing peace and tranquility at this time, uh, more so uh, than usual. And uh, the thing is, too, when you're talking about transits and involving this again, it can be about love. When you have, um, I mean, the, the transit planet of love conjoining the natal, your natal planet of love, this could be you know, very intensifying, a, a lot of intensification. Now. Transits that are, uh, that are conjunct, that are conjunctions, uh, can be very intensifying. And when you have the transit of one planet hitting your natal planet, that's the same planet as the one in the transit, um, it, it can be very about intensification with you know, love. And if it's an Aries, it could be very ardent, you're expressing a lot of ardent energy and love. Uh, and also Venus, um, we're talking about values as well. And it could be uh, at this time as well, a love or a relationship may play more of an integral role in your value system more so than usual at this time and relationships may figure more prominently your self-esteem your self-worth and how you feel uh, about yourself if it's in Gemini say it could be you know, cerebral connection um, it might be you know, something where maybe um, the relationship you're in or it could even be an important friendship maybe somebody that's very cerebral and gets you to basically um, you know basically make have your brain be more uh, active and, and and help you assimilate more information be you know maybe some self-esteem and, and connection with what you're learning and uh, in your knowledge at this time and also too uh, venus can be about our possessions remember it's about monetary matters possessions and this is a time where you may value your possessions at this time. You might actually be trying to find out, you know, basically evaluating um, your possessions and, and your money and, and also your, your possessions in terms of the value of them uh, at this point uh, in time. So anyway, and also too, this could be the enjoyment in some cases of using uh, one's voice. And if you're in a position like that involves singing, and you are in you know, the music field, you're a singer, uh, or anything that requires the voice, whether you're doing like maybe a voiceover for somebody, and uh, you know, you're doing narration, this could be a very auspicious uh, time for this. And, and also making money through that. Remember, Venus is about money, and also, you know, anatomically speaking, Venus is associated with the throat, the neck, the kidneys, the lower back. And, uh, and the thing about this is, uh, this could be a time where, I mean, where you may be valuing 
these parts anatom these anatomical parts and you're especially if this is in the first or sixth house in your natal chart the first house of course it corresponds with the physical body the sixth house can be connected with physical health debilitations and uh, if, it, if you're having issues with anything that I just described the parts of the body the Venus can be associated with well that could be something uh, of more you know of a concern in valuing you know these parts working properly more and taking care of them at this time and uh, and also Venus is associated with the thyroid as well now another thing too is that relationships or even though they could be love romantic relationships a significant other might help us feel more to make us feel better about ourselves and grant us uh, maybe more self-esteem and self-worth if this is in the zodiac sign cancer for example it could be about uh, us feeling better because we uh, maybe through nurturing being cared for someone sh loving us uh, unconditionally and also too uh, at this time as well Venus can be associated with charm and peace so uh, expressing uh, charm and being more peaceful might come across as being more attractive at this time let's say if you have this in Taurus this could be where a resonant voice might be seen as beautiful and attractive by others at this time and also this could be very auspicious for making money from something that could be Venus related whether it could be singing or some kind of art maybe even a lawsuit at this time that maybe you, you would suit somebody and you're, you're coming into the money with it now and through it through some legal matter it could be through some arbitration uh, maybe a significant other becomes more magnanimous and helps you out monetarily I mean, especially if this is like say if it's also conjunct say your Jupiter or even makes a sextile or trying to it that could be very beneficial for prosperity at this time or even if this is in like a, a money house like the second six or tenth house in your natal chart also too it could even money might even come through even a fr important friendship or through some kind of negotiation where you're willing to find you know resolution on money owed for example if it's in Pisces for example it could be money through abstract or art or art that's fictional connected with fantasy or something with the paranormal art um, this could also be a very good time this could be very beneficial for reevaluating and reassessing uh, your relationships your important friendships at this time and going back to the zodiac sign Scorpio if this falls in Scorpio it could be very provocative uh, deep connections and also are you going and it could be where you're asking questions that are connected with the placement such as going beyond subterfuge and superficiality in your relationships and your friendships are you maybe being too probing are you uh, are you not asking enough are you, are you not digging deep enough and these are the things you might be looking at and trying to discern during this transit and again if it falls in the sign of Scorpio as an example and also the reevaluation reassessing of values as well could take place during this transit say if this falls in Gemini it could be uh, maybe putting too much value in vicariousness and looking through others achievements and accomplishments as opposed to attempting to attain your own or being overly superficial uh, perhaps in some cases in your uh, love related matters or whether it might be it could just be superficial loves in general and also uh, remember that Venus uh, is connected with buying and selling and uh, and Venus can also be associated with art and when you have these two you know, transit Venus can join your natal Venus it could integrate very well as far as uh, it could be very um, advantageous for buying and selling um, art at this time say if this falls in Aries as an example it could be through welding uh, art that's connected with welding welding art uh, if it's an Aquarius it might be depictions of you know UFOs something science connected with science fiction maybe computer or electronic art 
or even uh, I even saw something online one time when somebody was making some kind of art that appeared to be anyway through using like you know circuit boards and electronic uh, electronic parts and you know creating things out of them actual objects out of those components now it could also be a time where it could be more auspicious for attracting women and I mean especially I mean, if you're not if you are unattached at this point in time um, and don't have a significant other and also uh, the thing is too I mean if it's in Taurus as an example it could be very loyal steadfast you know type of persistent personalities or they might actually be a Taurus Sun Moon or a Senate person or simply somebody that may embody Taurian characteristics now also too this could be a time where you could be expressing more cheerful joyful sentiments more so uh, than usual also if you're in a situation where it's been uh, you know contentious situation with a lover and you either had a, a breakup or you're going through you know the case of the stubborns and giving each other the you know, silent treatment or something in, in this situation has been somewhat combative or this could be a very good period for reconciliation uh, with that person as well as Venus is about peace Venus also is connected with relationships um, in Libra it might be done through the power of persuasion and also too it could be about in some cases isolated cases if you've been trying to get a separation or divorce this could be that time where it might go about more amicably at this time than usual because you look at Venus as connected with marriages and I'd say divorces as well and it could also be uh, in, in, in hitting your natal Venus Venus is also about peace so it could be about more of a peaceful one at this time so this could be that time where you might have that better chance to end something uh, more peacefully without much resistance but remember two people that a lot of this too is still predicated and dependent on aspects this makes to points in your chart if it's very at this point you know makes uh, say an adverse aspect to your natal Saturn there still might be more you know difficulty and more of an arduous task to do something uh, like that and the other things that I described in this video um, and also in one talk about as an example let's say that you have this transit Venus conjoining your natal Venus in Aries it might be if you're getting a divorce or separation it might be one that's very quick and abrupt and done very uh, aggressively with little procrastination or hesitation anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment until next time people Edwin Learner saying stay well